Hey, what's up guys? Tim here again. Got a brand new tutorial for you today. So we're doing the skull band paracord bracelet. So this one actually has a couple of names based on the um, tutorial that I got from Swiss Paracord Blog. Um, they call it the Walking Dead bracelet as well as the zombie armband. So just to avoid confusion with my previous Walking Dead tutorial, um, we'll just call this the skull band because I think it's pretty cool. So anyways, as you can see, we're getting into the spirit of uh, Halloween, which is coming up at the end of the month. So this is a project you might consider if you're going to a Halloween party or whatever, dress up party, or if you're just going trick-or-treating, that'd be cool too. So uh, it's essentially a Cobra Knot bracelet, but we've incorporated these awesome uh, plastic skull beads. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with these guys. They are very readily available online, and um, remember anything I use in this video you can check out in the affiliate links down below. So yeah. Um, yeah, this is what they are. These are these are just the classic version of the skull beads. They're just plastic, uh, the plain white ones. But they do have um, different versions. So let me grab a few here. I would have preferred to do this band in um, this one, the antique. I think this one looks the best. This is the uh, antique ivory one, I think. And that looks really nice because the color of it looks almost like you know, it kind of has that bone color, ivory color. But um, these two are glow-in-the-dark. This one doesn't have any other details blacked in. This one has the um, yeah, the antique to look. It's glow-in-the-dark. This one is just like a completely kind of onyx looking black one. This is a chrome one. So they have all different varieties of these. You can find these online. I'll try to um, link all of these in the description down below just so you guys um, can figure out you know what you want to do. But anyways, this is the one we're doing today. And we're doing knot and loop. We haven't done knot and loop in a while, but uh, you know, you know how it is. But yeah. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right. So I got my paracord set up on my jig, and uh, as you saw earlier, we're doing knot and loop for once. Uh, been a while since we've done a knot and loop bracelet. Anyways, I'm using uh, the blood diamond or red diamond for the core. I'm just using simple black for the main weaving strands. So we're going to get set up. I don't think we really need a tutorial on uh, the co Cobra Knots, but anyways. So um, as you can see here, just to show you real quick, see this uh, end of the paracord? You only need one of them to be like this. But I've melted the paracord and kind of uh, rolled it into a point because uh, you're going to be kind of inserting the skulls or threading them through like this. Okay, so do that ahead of time. You only need one of them to be like that. That'll be the lead strand. Or you could do both just to avoid confusion. Okay, so I've got the midpoint of my paracord here and I'm good. I'm going to put the black behind it. I think I've got roughly six feet. All right, so we're going to start off with our cobra knots and wait a minute. We're going to figure out which one of my lead strand is. Okay, so uh, the one with the pointed end well, I guess you could just, just do both with pointed ends so you don't have to worry about it. But anyways, my pointed end is on the right side. So we're going to start off with the right. I guess it doesn't really matter, but right over the core. Left over top of that. The left through the loop. And there we go. So our first Cobra knot. So I'm going to make my 1.5 inch loop up there. It's always about the width of my thumb. Okay, so we've got that. Now, with my lead strand, remember, my lead strand is uh, this one here. It has the pointed end on it. So now, we're going to start incorporating our skull beads. I'm going to thread the skull bead through here, like that. So now, when you tie your next knot, you want your skull bead right about there. And you're going to tie your cobra knot the same way. Uh, now we're going to do the right strand over that. Go through the opening. Pull that through. Now, when you center up your, your knot, you're going to want the skull bead right about in the middle, like that. The knot's not really going to want to stay because it has that skull in the way, but don't worry about it. Because right after this, See, now that I've got that there, you're just going to tie another cobra knot after that. And that will hold, that will 
hold it right there. See? So now we have the skull bead incorporated onto the cobra knot. So that looks pretty cool. So now you're just going to repeat the same thing. So it's going to be basically alternate. You're going to put a, you're going to thread a uh, skull bead on every other cobra knot. So we did one to hold it down. Now we're going to do a next one. So we have, I mean, and I'm putting these all facing one way because I kind of get OCD sometimes, but you can alternate them. Like you can do them up and down like this. That would look pretty cool actually, but we're going to do um, all facing one way. And of course you can customize this with um, all different beads that you want. Uh, because these, these plastic uh, skull beads, they come in different variety, like glow in the dark and they got different finishes. All right. So same thing. Yeah. See, I just, while I was talking there and yammering away, but uh, I threaded the bead on and we're going to center it up again like that. Don't worry about it being too perfect because um, it'll kind of line up once you not put the second knot down. Okay. And now tie our second knot after that. And there you go. So that is more or less the pattern. Um, nothing really much else to it. So you're just going to continue going. So you're going to put uh, one knot down. Now next one. Of course, we're going to thread another bead on. So it's just alternating every other knot. You put the, uh, the bead on. Pull that through. Tie your cobra knot. Center it up nicely. Like so. And then tie the last knot. Okay. So that's it. Yeah. So um, I'm going to continue tying my bracelet like this all the way down my core. And uh, when we we'll get to the end, I'll show you how it looks when we finish it off. All right, so I've woven down the length of my bracelet. So to finish off, uh, nothing too special. Um, you don't want to finish on one of these, of course. Uh, you want to finish on one of the last cobra knots that uh, does not have a skull on it, just to be more secure. Okay, so depending on the length of your bracelet, you may or may not end up, um, you may have to, you know, live with a bit of a gap if you didn't finish on one of these um, regular knots, okay? So that's about it. I'm just going to snip and singe my paracord here. I'm going to check the length, but I'll snip and singe off this excess as well. And we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it, folks. We are finished. So the uh, excess paracord and snipped and singed and sized up correctly. So there's our diamond knot. All right, and there we go. This has been the, uh, well, we're going to call it the skull band because uh, the original page on Swiss Paracord Blog gave it a couple names, um, but I think the skull band sounds pretty cool. All right, so that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, getting in the spirit for Halloween that's coming up. And remember, if you're looking for any products and uh, stuff that I used in this video, do check out the affiliate links down below because every time you shop through those, you're helping me out a lot, you're helping this channel survive. And yeah, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below, and I'll get back to you when I can. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video.